everyone welcome back to my channel daniel from golden finds here and i am back i feel like i've literally been gone for a while i did take a mini break from youtubing uh because it was my birthday week so i wanted to take advantage of that time because i was off for the entire week so I'm, but i am so excited to be back with you guys and i have a bunch of videos coming your way so make sure to stay tuned for all the fun if you're new to my channel welcome here on golden finds if you love ray dunn thrifting estate sales christmas halloween and vintage then this is the channel for you i welcome you guys to hit that subscribe button Hit the notification bell so you're notified of all my weekly videos. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram where you can keep up with all of my awesome thrift finds, you can follow me here. I'll go ahead and insert my Instagram name right here so you guys can follow me if you'd like. And for my returning subscribers, thank you so much as always, you guys, for coming back and supporting me here on my channel. Again, I am so happy to be back with another video. It's a long overdue video. It's actually a pre-recorded video that I have, you know, like videos that I haven't even had the chance to show. It's a thrift haul that you guys will be seeing today. And it's going to be actually some last Christmas Christmas items I'm telling you guys these have been sitting here for a while I just did not have the time to create a video because again I wanted to take that time to just really focus on things at home organizing cleaning you know decluttering and stuff like that so I definitely took a little mini break but I am back with the haul that I promised a while ago that I would share with you guys so I'm gonna have some footage of my shopping session as well before we get to the haul so make sure to stay tuned for the end so you guys can see what made it home with me but before we do that let's go ahead and shout out some wonderful people i have some magic mail that i have that i wanted to share with you guys so let's go ahead and get started with that first so quick shout out to our wonderful realtor, Tim, who helped us get our town home. He is such an amazing friend. He stopped by yesterday and happy Lunar New Year. For those of you who celebrate Lunar New Year, happy, happy, happy Lunar New Year. I absolutely love it. He came and stopped by and sh shared um, his Lunar New Year gift with us. It's so cute. It is the year of the rabbit and he's absolutely so sweet and so kind for always thinking of us. So thank you and shout out to the wonderful and amazing Tim, our amazing friend. And I just absolutely love this. This is so cute. It's a little card and it does have a $2 bill, you guys, which you guys know that $2 bills represent good luck and you're not supposed to spend these. You're supposed to keep them because they bring you good luck. I also wanted to take a quick minute to acknowledge um, the tragedy that befell here in California. Uh, for those of you who have been keeping up with the news, unfortunately, there was a mass shooting in the city of Monterey Park here in California, and it's been all over the news. I am a Californian, so it definitely hits home. It's such a tragedy, and I just wanted to, you know, send out <sighs> prayers and thoughts to those who were affected by whether their family members were hurt or unfortunately passed away to this tragedy. So I am sending my love and prayers to those families who, you know, unfortunately, Lunar New Year is supposed to be a time of celebration, a time of gathering, and it just unfortunately was not for those individuals who unfortunately um, were in this tragedy. So sending my love and prayers to those who were affected by the shooting here in California. I also wanted to go ahead and shout out a few of my fellow friends here on YouTube. I wanted to go ahead and thank Lisa from Lisa Lynette. Lisa, we miss you so much. I am sending you my love and my prayers for your health journey. For those of you who know Lisa from here on YouTube, you guys have followed her or follow her and she's absolutely Absolutely amazing she's such a doll if you don't know who Lisa Lynette is I will go ahead and link her channel in the description box below so you guys can go ahead and check her out and just thank you so much for thinking of me and sending your beautiful card and also the goodie inside I appreciate it so much because you thought of me and I absolutely love this I also wanted to go ahead and shout out my amazing friend Kathy Kathy, I know you're watching. You're such a great supporter. 
you are such a wonderful friend. She is not only my coworker, but we are wonderful true friends for life. She is so sweet, so adorable. She just actually hosted us over to her house for a tea party, me and another friend as well. And it was just a wonderful ball. We had so much fun. So thank you so much for thinking of me as well. And to Andrea Nicole, if you guys are not following Andrea, she's another wonderful YouTuber and friend. I will go ahead and link her channel below in the description box. Thank you for the birthday card. I absolutely love, love, love the glitter. I thought it was so sweet of you to <laughs> warn me on the outside of the envelope that it said full of glitter. I thought this was absolutely so cute. I appreciate you so much, my amiga. Love, love, love you. Sending you love and blessings from Cali. And I also want to thank Alex and Sean from More Life and Travel. You guys, I got your card. Thank you so much. They say life's not the number of breaths we take, uh, breaths you take, but I kind of think it is. Hope your birthday's breathtaking. Your friends, Sean and Alex from More Life and Travel. I got your beautiful stickers. They're so cool and awesome. You guys, they are so adorable. They are literally the <sighs> Lucille Ball and Ricky from I Love Lucy. They really are the Lucy and Ricky from YouTube. I got all these beautiful stickers. So thank you so much, my friends, for sending out this birthday card. And then last but not least, I wanted to go ahead and shout out my wonderful friend, Celeste. Celeste, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so, I, I don't, I'm a loss of words because of all this wonderful, amazing friend mail that I have received. And you guys are so wonderful. I really do appreciate it so much. That you guys sent out you know whether it was a gift a card whatever that it may be you thought of me and that really means a lot to me so i really appreciate it let me go ahead and share with you guys what celeste sent me celeste thank you so so much this card left me breathless she knows that i absolutely love Belle from beauty and the beast look at how beautiful this card is it's absolutely sparkling it's bell holding a rose i am definitely going to be framing this because this is so gorgeous i absolutely love it and she does these beautiful personalized stickers i am so excited thank you so much for this of the last these are so adorable they are our golden finds logo and on the inside celeste you are so intricate and amazing at the cards that you sent so thank you so much again because you pour in a lot of effort and energy and love 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 into the cards that you send me so look at how beautiful this is you guys ah it's decked out with a lot of bell these roses right here they're absolutely gorgeous i love this when i opened this up i was like oh my gosh this is just stunning so thank you so much i cannot wait to frame that and the envelope is so adorable too it's in the details you guys that they're amazing she also sent me some goodies this is so adorable i love this i cannot wait to decorate this with my hutch i will definitely be using this to decorate my hutch she also sent me some Radon Valentine's Day napkins. These are so adorable with all the little hearts around it. So cute. And you guys, Celeste, thank you so much. You were literally, you're the first person, um, because I've never, ever, ever came across measuring cups, Radon measuring cups. And you gifted me my very first measuring cup set. So now I have a second hair for valentine's day i am at a loss of words i really 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 appreciate you sending this my way these are absolutely stunning i love the heart it's gorgeous it has the numbers on the side and then the other side is the heart i cannot wait to decorate with these i just every time i see them i will think of you so i really thank you so much i'm sending you my love my blessings and thank you so much for your friendship and to all of you who sent me these cards and goodies 
thank you so much you guys it really means so much to me and i really really appreciate it so let's go ahead and start with the shopping session you guys make sure to come back right around so you guys won't miss out on what made it home i am so excited to share with this one because it will finally be out of the way and i can put it away because i still have a few christmas bins that i have to take back to the storage but i was keeping them because i wanted to put the last few haul items that i have here sitting now that doesn't mean that i will i won't you know thrift for christmas anymore i will gradually still be thrifting throughout the year for christmas decor but it will have to be like very like omg i have to bring it home but i'm excited i'm excited to share with you guys what i found so let's go ahead and get started with the shop with me session and then make sure to come back so you guys can see what made it home here we go with the shopping session you guys we're starting off with goodwill and of course as always goodwill will always have holiday decor so i found this cute almost vintage like gingerbread mug i thought it was really cute with the candy cane handle and i also came across this mulan hallmark keepsake ornament i thought it was gorgeous but what was not gorgeous is the price that goodwill was asking 9.99 and i came across the course you guys know that ray dunn is always at my goodwills i found this milk one i've never seen it i thought it was interesting but it did have some botches on the m I also found the pumpkin everything mug with the orange on the inside. I thought it was so cute, but I have to limit myself because I buy too many mugs, you guys. I also found this red cake stand. I believe this was originally from Target from the dollar spot section. I thought that was, you know, perfect for Valentine's Day. And whoever did this, how dare you? Why would you donate your best friend? Your picture is still in the frame. You guys, do not do this. Do not leave pictures if you donate picture frames to the thrift store. How sad. It reminded me of my Bella. And this was a cool find. Baymax from Big Hero 6. It is a Disney Parks item. So this was most likely from Disneyland. Our thrift stores do get a lot of items from the Disney Parks since it is here in Anaheim, California. I love the inside faces. It's like the levels of coffee, like how you get when you are at the next level of, you know, depending on how much you drink coffee <laughs> and this was cool these pine cone trees i thought they were really beautiful i love the golden glitter all over them and they were like all made of small pine cones so i thought those were cute i love a good hearth and hand find this is again a target item it's still brand new in its box and it was 5.99 purple tag i thought these were really cute I also came across these Ray Dunn signs. I find a lot of these still brand new in store, you guys, at Goodwill. They still have all of the home goods, TJ Maxx Marshall tags. This one says wash and sanitize. And this cloche was really pretty. It definitely was giving me Beauty and the Beast vibes. I love the golden feet at the bottom. They're so cute. It was originally from TJ Maxx and who loves a good disney vintage find does anyone remember these cups you guys i'm sure a lot of you remember these were also given i think by mcdonald's as well or maybe they were only burger king but let me know in the comments below if you guys still have these cups and hearth and hand again here we go letters to santa this mailbox was very pretty most likely it ended up at goodwill because it is defective um i tried opening the mail slot and it got it keep getting stuck so i think that's why it was returned to target and then target just sent it to goodwill and more booze please yes with the halloween finds again i find a lot of radon mugs in store you guys so i have to be very picky with what makes it home i thought this was really cool this is from waco texas from the magnolia store and i have been there when i went to texas for the first time so it brought back memories seeing this at the thrift store and look at this i love you more of the wooden signs you guys originally 7.99 it was 2.99 at goodwill perfect for valentine's day honeymoon fund well we're no longer in the honeymoon stage but i mean it's always full love here in casa hernandez i'm just kidding you guys we truly love each other so much joe and i and i found this melamine 
witch's feet trinket tray i don't know it kind of looks like a dip tray too it still has the tag as well 7.99 from home goods i also found this soap dispenser for four dollars and 99 cents it was a little icky but i'm sure a good cleaning would have definitely brought it back to new these are really cool they're like these plastic hard cardboard vintage inspired postcard signs they were originally from ashlands from michael's and here we go with ross you guys a lot of people went crazy for these let me tell you i have been on the hunt for the remainder of these pieces i did not buy this mug because there was only one and it just didn't make sense i did pick up this canister i would do not show it in the haul at the end but i did want to tell you guys that i did pick up this canister i believe it was 7.99 or 8.99 this was the smaller canister there are two that were circulating but unfortunately i haven't been able to find them anymore it literally was the only time that i found them was when i was at ross at this time of filming and weeks later and i still haven't came across them let me know in the comments below if you guys have found these pieces and if you added them to your collection now i don't know if the creamer came with the spoon but heck i took it you guys because it definitely came with it and it was set up that way but i don't think it was originally part of that i also came across this cool book stack it's so cute the love at the top is giving me very ray dunn font vibes what do you guys think and there were some of these mugs these were like the same ones that they released for halloween and christmas um but i definitely did pass these up i just did not need any more mugs you guys i didn't even use the ones for christmas that i found at ross but i thought these were really cute the toppers are so adorable like this little red truck the be mine so cute i loved it and not bad for the price as well now heading on over to home goods do you guys still have christmas sitting in your clearance aisle let me know in the comments below because my stores definitely still have items there's even some things that don't belong in there i don't know how they end up being left in the clearance aisle and here are some of the valentine's day decor really beautiful i love those neutral hearts of the three stacks that would have definitely been beautiful for like the outside or inside of my home but at 24 dollars 99 i steered away here are more christmas finds you guys they definitely had a lot of leftover um one thing that i have noticed is that a lot of the mugs that are currently coming out have new price tag stickers of five dollars and 99 cents and they're not mugs from last year so i think they kind of learned their lesson about overpricing the items last year because so much of it sat in the shelves so i think they learned their lesson and heading on to walmart you guys these are so adorable but at dollar tree you can get the bigger one and it's definitely a dollar 25 and not the 4.98 that walmart is charging for this small one here these little valentine trees are so cute i love the polka dotted pom-poms we have some light up decor these hearts were really cute for six dollars and 48 cents i thought they were really pretty they also had these beads three dollars and 98 cents for these hanging wood pieces and they were really cute and adorable they had a few designs like this little truck as well here are some more tear tray decor these are really pretty i love all the flowers all the roses bunched up to create the heart and of course christmas you guys there was 50 percent off so i definitely had to take advantage of the sale i hope that you guys enjoyed the shop with me session let's go ahead and see what made it home with me you guys let's go ahead and see i'm not going to start in any specific order but let's go ahead and start with this so this is the gift set that i found it comes with two candles and the uh frosted pine room spray so they are two scented candles that are both frosted pine as well they're both the same scent they're so adorable it has a little santa and the christmas tree and then the spray 
So this was $4.99. It was originally from TJ Maxx and it was originally $12.99. So I thought this was a cute gift set. I'm not going to give it away to anybody. It's going to be for moi. I thought it was just so cute. I will most likely because of room, I want to get rid of the packaging and just keep the candles and the spray because I'm really, really, really trying hard to declutter as much as I can this year. I really want to practice, you know, keeping it very minimal but it's very hard because i do live a thrifting life and it's not always easy next up i picked up this cloche you guys it gave me the beauty and the beast vibes i love the rose petal bottoms uh, legs and then the topper for the glass dome is gold rose gold as well this was four dollars and 99 cents at goodwill it was originally from tj maxx but I don't know if I'll be able to see the original price tag because the Goodwill tag is over the old TJ Maxx tag. Okay, so it looks like it was $7.99 before. So that looks kind of like an older tag. So I don't know how old this item is, but I saved myself a few dollars. I thought this was so pretty. I think I'm going to utilize it for Valentine's Day somehow in the hutch i don't know i'm so behind too i have to decorate for valentine's day because it's gonna be here literally like tomorrow next up i found this um i don't know if they're technically considered um it's melamine um these it's like a trinket tray it's three compartments i thought it was very unique i usually don't like getting these but i thought it was so unique and it was only a dollar 99 so I couldn't pass up on it. It is a Ray Dunn piece. It still has the original home goods tag of $7.99. And it's the Witches Like Collection. It says Bewitching, The Witches In, and Wicked Witch. So again, I thought it was really cool. It looks like it's a 2018 piece. So it's a few years old and it's still in good shape. I thought it was cute. So I, of course, have to bring it in. And next up, I have a Halloween item. Again, Christmas and Halloween, I gradually will be thrifting throughout the year for it. Um, but again, I'm trying to limit myself. I had to pick this up, you guys. It's giving me Johanna Parker vibes. It's so adorable. It's like a pumpkin head or a pumpkin person. And it has like this black hat. It has like a little flower at the top and a little pom-pom at the end, some sparkle tinsel all throughout the hat. And then it has like a paper collar and little stars around the base. I just had to. This was, how much was this? I don't have the tag. It didn't have a tag, I believe. So I think I only got this for like, I think it was two or three dollars. So not bad for the price. I absolutely fell in love with this. Keeping on with holiday decor. Look what made it home with me. Okay, you guys. So for those of you who know me, I started with thrifting Radon because I literally find so much of it. You guys have no idea what is coming. I have a video coming out soon. It's literally the mega load of mega loads of thrifted Ray Dunn of the year for 2023. Let me tell you that. So I'm very excited to bring that soon, you guys, because it's literally a lot, a lot of Ray Dunn. And I just absolutely fell in love with this, you guys. It's, uh, it still has the brand new tag. And this is from the Carnival Cottage Collection by Johanna Parker and Magenta. And this was $5.99. Now, I know that these were discounted for the Christmas season. You know, they were going down in price. But I found this before it started happening. It made its way actually to Goodwill. And it's the Penguin um, Ceramic. Uh, oh my goodness. It's the Penguin Ceramic. It's not a teapot. It's not a creamer for sure it's too big uh it's a pitcher there we go it's the penguin pitcher oh gosh 
I thought it's absolutely still adorable for $5.99. Why not? And it's still brand new with the tag, you guys. I just couldn't leave it behind. Even though I don't really have a lot of pieces from the Johanna Parker Penguin collection, I thought it was so cute. I also picked up these two. They're like plastic. Kind of like a hard plastic ply board they're supposed to be like little postcards they were 99 cents they were originally five dollars from ashland so these were from michael's these were only 99 cents at goodwill and they're giving me all the vintage vibes so i just knew that i had to bring these home for only 99 cents each of course they have to without question then i also found some other trees i thought these were gonna be so perfect for my neutral decor so i did pick these up you guys these are all a mini mini pine cones and some of them are full of glitter they're absolutely gorgeous i love it this was one of them and i believe these were a I think this one was a dollar ninety nine, and this was ninety nine cents. So I got the smaller one. It did not have a price tag, so I thought these were so cute. This is the small one, so I thought those would be perfect for a neutral decor look for ne next holiday season. I also picked up this awesome. I think this is a spool. It's supposed to be a spool to hold your yarn. I may be totally saying the wrong word, you guys. I'm sorry. Please correct me down below in the comments if I am. I think this is a spool, um, if that's what it's called. And then it holds the yarn ball. And I just thought this was so pretty. I don't know why I bought it. Um, this was only $3. But I absolutely fell in love with it because it's like a neutral look. And I just like, I don't know. Something about it really just called out to me. So I'm like, grab it. And then I found this Ray Dunn pumpkin. I find a lot of these at the thrift store. It says bendiciones, which means um, blessings. Oh my gosh, it took me a second there. <laughs> Sorry. So bendiciones means blessings, and this is in Spanish. I do speak Spanish. Spanish was actually my very first language, for those of you who do not know. It was $1.99 at Goodwill, you guys. So I'm just like, you know what? I don't have a lot of Spanish pieces that are Ray Dunn, so let's bring it home. Now, let me go ahead and share this next you guys know that i love when i find a hearth and hand piece again this is from target and our goodwills get a lot of hearth and hand items this was five dollars and 99 cents it's still brand new in the box and this is the artificial bundles so they're pine with white berries and i think it's a total of four yes yeah, so four pieces this was originally ten dollars so usually goodwill usually they're pretty good about selling the item for half the price that you would get it at target so that made it home with me i also found this cute little um I am really spacing out today. What is going on with me, you guys? I'm so sorry. These are the... Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm totally, totally spacing out right now. And I've always talked about them, you guys. Annalise. Oh my god. Something is really going on with me. I'm sorry. So this is the Annalise. Uh, I found this little mouse. It was $2.99 at goodwill it's so cute it's giving me so many vintage vibes this piece is actually not old though it's a 2014 so it's newer um, but i just love picking them up if i find them at goodwill i know a lot of you do not care for these because they look a little creepy but i just thought it was so cute and i couldn't leave it behind gosh i don't know what's going on with me you guys i have like literally like a brain moment like i'm losing my thoughts <laughs> okay so last but not least i have a few finds from walmart as well um in the shop with me session you guys did see some of the val valentine's day stuff um i don't really i didn't really buy anything from the valentine's day section at walmart again i don't really decorate a lot for valentine's day um but i didn't see anything that really called out to me except for like some heart picks that I picked up for a wreath, but that was really it. But I did pick this up, which this I'm pretty sure is long gone. I'm pretty sure Walmart doesn't have any of this stuff anymore, but I did want to share this with you. I did get this. It was $23.98, and I got this when it was 50% off, and it's a Christmas tree crate. 
I love it. Again, it's giving me some of those vintage vibes. That's how it's supposed to look like. This is supposed to be from the bottom base of the tree. So I thought that this would be really, really perfect for next year because I did not have anything covering the bottom base of the tree. Now, when Walmart did reach, I believe, 90% off, I picked up this beautiful wreath. It is a part of the holiday time collection. It was originally $24.98. You guys, I got it for a really, really good deal. And it's absolutely stunning. It looks very lifelike. The wreath feels very realistic. The needles, the pine needles, are like this plastic, very soft, velvety plastic. So I just knew that I had to use this for next holiday season. I could definitely spruce it up with my own decor. And then last but not least, I have these adorable little ornaments. So these are wood ornaments. They were $2.48. Again, I think I got these literally for like a few cents. So I have Happy Holidays with the Santa. Again, it's giving me that vintage vibe. So I just had to have it. Here we have the deer. And then last but not least, the snowman. So I thought these were so cute. I couldn't pass them up. They were such a good deal. But until the next holiday season, they're going to be put away in the storage bins and make their way over to our storage facility. So that is the end of today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and coming on to see what video I was putting out for today. I do hope that you guys enjoyed what you saw. Let me know in the comments below. I, you know, I love when you guys are always leaving comments. So I appreciate if you would stop at the bottom before you head on out and tell me what would have made it home with you. What item from the entire haul or items, if there's more than one, that you guys would have picked up if you would have seen this at your stores. As always, if you guys like this video, I welcome you to hit that like button as it really does help out my channel and push it out to other people so that they can discover what Golden Finds is all about. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. Until next time, this is Daniel from Golden Finds. Until the next one. Bye, everyone.